Hey guys, it's Albert from Adore TV. If you're looking for Jim's content, stay tuned. He's got some interesting videos coming soon. In this video, we'll be looking at Deepcool's new CPU cooler, the AK620, which, in my opinion, is currently the best air cooler on the market. I'm going to keep this video short and simple, but we'll start with a quick unboxing and setup of the AK620. If you just want to see the benchmark, skip forward to the 2 minute and 45 second mark. pattern. Alright, so let's take a look at the benchmarks. All temperatures listed in the graphs here are delta over ambient temperatures. Now before we get to the normal parts of the testing, a few folks had requested that I run some fanless tests. So I ran the AK620s without fans in Cinebench. Using a 99-10900K for a testing, benchmark scores dropped 20% overall from 15,940 points in Cinebench with fans to 13,229 points without fans. During this 10 minute testing period, the CPU averaged 4 GHz and consumed 120 watts of power. At the end of this period, it had dropped down to 3.3 GHz and 75 watts uh, at the end of the test. Now that's pretty impressive because that means you could run a lower TDP CPU like Ryzen 3600 without any fans and never throttling. Moving over to our normal Cinebench testing, we see the AK620 leading by about 2 degrees Celsius. With Ida64, we see the AK620 performing equal to the NHD15. Now for OCCT, we can't just give you the temperatures because each cooler I've tested hits TJ Maxx in this scenario. So instead, we've tested all of the coolers at the same ambient temperature and reported the clock speeds. Now in this test, the AK620 lags behind the NHD15 by about 32 MHz. For noise testing, I recorded both coolers from the same position and then analyzed the recording audio using Orban's loudest meter, which showed the NHD15 to be slightly quieter than the AK620. I found that the pitch of the AK620 was more pleasant than the NHD15, but not everyone may agree with that. My friend Charlie prefers the acoustics of the NHD15 over the AK620, for example. In order to emulate lower TDP loads, I also tested a few games. 
In these tests, the AK620 ran slightly cooler than Noctua's NHD15. Overall, I'm very impressed with Deepcool's AK620. It is extremely simple to install. It provides the same overall performance as Noctua's NHD15, all the while being $30 cheaper. The only thing I didn't like about the AK620 is that they failed to include an LGA1700 adapter with it, but Deepcool will provide these free of charge to anyone who purchases the AK620. And that's a wrap for today's review. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments.